Good afternoon. I would have loved to be with you in person. Very jealous of you, Dr. Wakabi, who is having the privilege to moderate my dear friends and two Freedom of Expression champions, Zoe and Henriette. Special greetings for you three. UNESCO is pleased to be part of this year's edition of the Forum on Internet Freedom in Africa. I would like to thank the collaboration on international ICT policy for East and Southern Africa for organizing this significant annual event, which draws our attention to the ever-growing importance of issues related to internet governance and digital rights in Africa and beyond. The issues you are tackling in this conference are pertinent to our mandate. As you know, uh, UNESCO is the UN agency mandated with promoting freedom of expression and safety of journalists online and offline. Therefore, we are mobilizing international cooperation in both standard setting and developing mechanisms and frameworks to tackle the increasing trend on online, of online harms directed to journalists, for example. It is in this context that we organized very recently a consultation with tech companies and other key stakeholders on how best we can protect journalists from the increasing online harms and attacks. This consultation took place earlier this month on September 13th in the Danish capital of Copenhagen. I am I'm happy to note that CIPESA was represented there. This crucial meeting generated convert, convergent approaches from tech companies, multilateral organizations, civil society groups, that uh, the evolving digital ecosystem not only offers enormous opportunities for fostering all our human rights, but also increases important risks that compromise fundamental rights like freedom of expression. Journalists are also part of this equation benefiting a lot from these opportunities, but also suffering from the problems of the digital ecosystem, including the viability of the news media sector and the online violence against journalism, journalists, and in particular women journalists. Our job, therefore, is to enhance the opportunities, to mitigate the risks, and to prosecute the harms. Multilateral agreements, as the Windhoek Plus 30 Declaration for the Protection and Promotion of Information as a Public Good, are tools that can assist us in achieving these goals. In order to steam this tide, the Denmark consultation, therefore, was only a step in a series of engagements that UNESCO seeks to mobilize in order to find durable solutions. This, uh, this event or this conference uh, is one of such opportunities. We are also organizing a global conference on Internet for Democracy, focusing on regulating digital platforms for information as a public good, which will take place in Paris uh, from the 21st to the, to, through the 20, 23rd of February next year. We hope that this conference will generate the necessary momentum for a global debate on what platform, on what forms of regulation and co-regulation are necessary for protection of fundamental rights and other freedoms, while at the same time nurturing the space for innovation. UNESCO is proposing a series of initiatives as possible solutions, including tech companies developing risk assessments frameworks and data sharing mechanism with 30 parties such as journalists, researchers that deal with the safety of journalists. This year, we mark the 10th anniversary of the UN Plan of Action on the Safety of Journalists and the Issue of Impunity, with a ministerial high-level conference that will take place in Vienna, Austria, uh, from on the 3rd and 4th of November. It is a crucial milestone to take a big leap in the, in the helm of freedom of expression and the safety of journalists, conscious of the uses and misuses of digital opportunities. I hope that this panel will generate discussions and solutions that contribute to the better protection of journalists in Africa and, of course, in the global digital ecosystem. Thank you so much. Stay safe and have a great debate.